automotive starter motors generally use field coils. These coils become powerful electromagnets when current flows through them. Most automotive starter motors use four of these coils. The field windings are rigidly mounted to the case of the starter motor, while the armature is free to rotate. The field windings form four loops. Each loop surrounds an iron core which concentrates and strengthens the magnetic field. These are known as pole shoes. Pole shoes are curved to allow the conductors of the coil to be very close to the curved sides of the armature. Each armature winding is connected to a segment of the commutator. At the end of the starter assembly are four carbon brushes. These remain in contact with the commutator by spring pressure. This ensures strong contact and provides compensation for wear. In a four brush motor, two of the brushes supply positive to the armature windings, while two supply ground or negative. As current flows through the brushes and into the armature, the magnetic field of each segment is switched on and off by the commutator, which maintains a constant interaction with the field windings surrounding the armature. This forces the armature to rotate in one direction. At the end of the armature shaft is the drive mechanism. The drive mechanism contains a pinion gear, which moves along a shaft and engages a ring gear mounted on the engine's flywheel. When the engine starts and begins to exceed the speed of the rotating pinion, the drive disengages from the ring gear and begins to overrun to avoid damage to the drive, gears, or starter motor. The starter motor can be shunt, also known as parallel wound, series wound, or a combination of the two. Most automotive starter motors are series wound. On a series wound starter, the armature and field coils are connected one after the other in series. Current flows from the battery through one brush into the commutator and armature, out the other brush, into one side of the field, into the other side of the field, and back to the battery. Series wound motors produce a high degree of starting torque from a dead stop, but series motors have one major drawback. With no load on the motor, the armature will spin faster and faster until it overheats or flies apart by centrifugal force. To prevent this, many starter motors employ a compound winding system. 